everybody. Welcome to a Saturday morning mic talk. I'm so glad you guys are with me again. God bless you guys. Song and Sword is uh, excited about tomorrow. Tomorrow's a really cool day. We have a, a regular gathering. If you've signed up and you've got a virtual ticket, and uh, you did that at songandsword.com, then we'll see you tomorrow at ISU at the top of the Hancock Stadium there in, uh, in their um, lounge, and we'll have a worship time there. A very exciting announcement to make for you guys tomorrow. And if you can't make that or you didn't get your tickets, don't worry. We'll be here tomorrow at 10 a.m. And you can watch us at Song and Sword. And don't miss it because i got a very special announcement. A couple of things. First of all, I'm really excited about something. I am reunited with the, the eye pulpit, the pulpit that was designed to, to match my um, preaching stool. I have it again. And it's great to be reunited with it. I'll be using it tomorrow at ISU. Anyway. Uh, and maybe uh, moving forward. But the deal is, is that um, tomorrow, anything that we give on, anything that's given online, uh, you know, we've tried to take up a special offering. Anything that's given online tomorrow, uh, one-tenth of it will go to the special thing that I'm going to announce tomorrow, okay? So just be ready for that. And uh, we're excited uh, what God's doing. We're excited to, um, to launch into this new venture with you guys in mind and so uh, keep praying for us, keep supporting us, keep loving us, and we will love you and we'll be your shepherds uh, the best we can. I want to go to Revelation 14 as we end this week talking about rest. And I, I, admittedly, this is not necessarily a rah-rah um, picture for us when it comes to rest, but it is a scripture about rest. And since we preach and teach the whole Bible, that's important to us. So I want to share this with you today from Revelation 14. And it, it's a picture of some kind of judgment that's going on, and it has to do with this beast and the mark of the beast and all those things that you've heard about that, frankly, we don't fully understand. But here's, here's the way you can easily understand Re Revelation. Um, <clears throat> the good is God, the bad is Satan and all his enemies, the beast. And in the end, God and his people win, and those who follow Satan and the devil they lose eternally, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, really important. So I'm just going to start in verse 9, uh, chapter 14 of Revelation, verse 9. Another angel, a third angel, followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and its image and receives a mark on its forehead or his hand, he will also drink the wine of God's wrath, poured full strength into the cup of his anger, and he will be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment goes up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, these worshipers of the beast and its image, and whoever receives the mark of its name. Here is a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus." And I heard a voice from heaven saying, write this, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Blessed indeed, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, for their deeds follow them. This is two opposites. This is a teaching about two opposites of the eternity of those who follow Satan, the beast, worshiping the beast, and, um, and those who follow God. And there's, there's a different reality when it comes to rest. Did you know one of the torments of eternity, um, separation from God, hell, what, what's described here is this, this um, tormented with fire and sulfur. Uh, one of the punishments is no rest. Um, he will drink the wine of God's wrath. He will be tormented. And the smoke of their torment goes up forever. And they have no rest day or night. The opposite of relaxing and resting is never being able to rest. If you've ever felt the, the, the exhaustion of a long day or a long stretch of days or a long time where you've not rested as much as you should and you're exhausted, one of the things that we know about the eternity of hell is it's going to be exhausting because there is no rest. The pain is forever and there is no rest from it. It's not going to get better. Conversely, um, those who die in the Lord immediately, as we said yesterday, immediately receive rest from all their labors and, and their deeds follow them into heaven because their righteousness through Jesus Christ, they get rest in time with him. What, 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 what can we say with this scripture today? Well, here's one thing we can say. Um, eternity is real 
And it seems the Bible is painting this picture that hell is a real place. It's not a make-believe place. People are actually going to go there if they don't know Jesus Christ. So that makes it, that makes it for us very important in our relationships with those who don't know Jesus. Guys, this is not a game. This is not just some fantasy book that's written. This is the Bible. This is the truth of the Word of God. And hell is a real place. And the wrath of God is going to be poured out. All of, all of sin is going to be judged by the wrath of God if it's not covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Now, the blood of Jesus Christ has covered it for those of us who love him. And I like this verse right here in the middle in verse 12. Here's a call for the endurance of the saints. Guys, keep enduring because your rest is coming. But endure through all this hard time because the people around us need to be saved from this non-rest called hell. God bless you guys. I hope to see you tomorrow. I know that's a very heavy teaching today, but endure, saints, endure. And then we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. See you soon.